by Quick Photography and uh, in the tutorial. Bye. What's up, everybody? It's Mo Media here, Southside Chicago photographer and videographer. If you're new to the channel, consider pop locking and dropping a like on this video. Comment, subscribe, share. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Today, today, we're talking about export settings. Uh, I recently had a run-in with bad export settings, and I just wanted to share this with you guys, especially, especially if you're a beginning photographer, and if you, even if you're a pro photographer, this could be a tip for you. You might have just slipped up and forgot. You know, we forget a lot of things. I forget. I just, I live, this is my second take doing this video, so I forgot some stuff. Anyways, I was working with a client last week on a project and I shot everything, it looked really good. I went to go edit it, look, edits look amazing. And then I exported it, sent it off, and they're just like, this is trash. Everything looks really muddy, everything looks really pixelated. Like, it doesn't look clear. Like, can you like add some clarity, some sharpness to it? You know what I mean? As a photographer, you're just like, Bro, like this is I give you like my best work and this is what you say to me like this is how dare you how how dare no um at that point I was just like you know I quit photography and uh in a tutorial bye boy if you don't get no I'm just kidding so um I went back into Lightroom you know play with the clarity you know then send it back to him he was just like this is still trash and I'm just like what's going on I don't know what to do how to fix this and I was like wait let me check my export settings and lo and behold, they were just all screwed up and messed up. So uh, today I just want to show you guys how to do that, how to change your export settings up and make sure you're getting the maximum quality for your photos because you might be like me and just don't know how to export things correctly. Mess up. All right. First thing we're going to do is going to open up Lightroom and uh, I'm going to let that I'm just gonna sit here for a couple minutes because I know the Lightroom takes forever to open up and we all know that. I have an Asus, my Asus sucks. So they're gonna go to whatever picture you want to export. You're gonna click on that and then you're gonna go to file and then you're gonna go to export and then you're gonna go all the way down to, you're gonna go down to file settings and it's gonna say quality. It's gonna say, is it my, because where mine was is somewhere in the middle and uh, what you, where you want it to be is at all the way at 100 if you want the maximum quality with no compression, anything like that. So um, you want your uh, image format to be a JPEG and sRGB, uh, limit files too. You just don't click that at all. And then you're going to go ahead and export. And then when you export that, it will look exactly like your picture when you shot it. And when you saw it in Lightroom, it's gonna look exactly like that. When you pixel peek on Instagram, people are gonna be like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's sharp. That's that, that, that's sharp. Yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, make sure you guys are paying attention to your export settings. Uh, sometimes Lightroom does updates and stuff like that might make it a little wonky um, And if you haven't done it already, I would recommend doing it just to get that tack sharpness in your uh, Pictures and stuff like that. So if you like what you see here Make sure you pop lock and drop a like on this video comment subscribe share It's your thing do what you want to do tell your auntie tell your grandma Your work matters and people need to see your work peace and chicken grease The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Lightroom do it. Do it now. I, I see you. Did you hop? Did you? Did you? Did you hop in the light room? Do it. Do it. Do it now. 